Hello everybody, this is Poison Dog 88 and since the last challenge I did wasn't hard, I'm gonna do another hard challenge. I don't know if I'm gonna keep alternating like I've been doing, where I do a hard challenge, then an easy challenge, then a hard challenge, then another easier challenge, but who knows? This is what I'm doing right now, at least. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest challenges. I don't know, the last hard challenge I did might top it, but this is gonna be a no deaths crazy run um i am not gonna do the trick where you play against Ketsali in a 1v1 and then just beat them you know the whole 100 percent trick that people do i'm actually gonna be trying so i'm gonna go into a creative mode not creative mode that's not the right game a creative game and I think I'm going to play as Kiku for this. And the reason I'm doing this is you can see I already have the settings made. Just to kind of tailor the map a little bit. I might do this again at some point on just the regular domination map. Just so I kind of don't have any control over the game aside from what tribe I pick. But I need all the help I can get when I'm attempting this run. New game. My mistake that time was not going for the naval strategy fast enough, so I'll try and go for it faster this game. Okay, we're against Amaji again. Um, I'll train another warrior. What do we got here? Looks like hunting is the only way we're going to be able to upgrade that city. Someone's already getting sieged and it's only turn three. That's about on par for the crazy difficulty AI. I'll get organization so I can upgrade my capital uh, next turn at least. Harvest. I will get resources. What is back here? There's another village. Excellent. I will get sailing to start going for the naval game. Since I'm kind of isolated, this might actually be a very nice naval game. There has to be a village over here. So I will train a warrior, and then next turn I will put them in a boat. Oh, we got Venger, looks like, or Venger, or however they're pronounced. Oh, what? this was a really <laughs> not good uh, city. Okay, they're saluting me friendly, so that's a good sign, I guess. Um, what do I want? I want to capture this city first. I think I'm going to start heading towards trade. I will stop off for strategy, though, to get defenders running. Okay, Avenger seems fine. Sorry if you can hear that really loud and annoying bird. They're annoying me too. I'll upgrade here and take a workshop as well. I will upgrade here. What do I take? Um, Any good customs house spots? Not really. I think I'm going to upgrade this city, Lonu, with border. Oh, here's a really good spot. I could get a plus four on this forest as it stands, so I think I'm going to go for population growth there. Okay, so Luxador's here. There's a ton of unclaimed land back there, and I got my metropolis. Do I put that down in this city? I think I do, and then I take resources. That won't be enough to get me to a port, though, so maybe I save it. I'll put it down here. That'll give me resources to build a port here. That'll connect that city up, giving me three population. I'll fish here, and then I will get border growth. Well, that was just plain rude whomever did, to whomever did that. Uh, whaling is 12 stars now. I don't think I want to go for that. I will put you into a ship. Do I have navigation? I don't have navigation. That might be something I want to think about possibly getting. 
If I bog down their units enough, they won't be able to do enough damage. Yeah, I think you can go here, realistically speaking. I don't want you to go that far. What the heck, I'll get whaling, because it's on the way to aquaticism anyway, so it's not like it's useless getting it. This city has a very nice customs house location on this desert tile. I'll go for another explorer here. Maybe it'll reveal... Not who I expected, but... That's something, I guess. And that is more stars to play with. I think they're already considered an enemy for me. Judging by how they're playing, they are most definitely considered an enemy. I will get a battleship. Not this turn, but next. You need to stay back. I'm going to have to turtle up here. Please don't... Okay. I was a little wary if that was going to be bordering um, land, and then that unit would just... Well, it's a defender, I guess. It's not a really big deal. Why would you attack with just a normal boat? That just seems stupid. There's Amaji. What's in the ruin? Oh, great. I hoped it would be meditation. That's my favorite technology in the game. It's the most useful tech, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Battleship time. Not really as good of customs house locations here. I'll get an explorer now that I have navigation. There's Luxador. They seem to like me. They were bowing in awe of my mighty civilization. What tiles do you reach? If you get a border growth upgrade, you won't reach any better spots. This looks like your best customs house spot. So I'll just hold off on that. I need forestry in order to place two customs houses right now. Alright, I'll get forestry this turn. Again, what was the purpose of attacking me with that. Omaji oh, looks like they're going down soon. Or they only have those two cities. And they're in last. Do I join the war to get a piece of the pie? I don't think so. That's probably not a smart idea. I have so many defender boats that I'm making now that I don't think it really matters if that one gets a little low. Oh, okay, they have battleships now. They're trying to kill this defender, I reckon. This swordsman, I don't think, should be able to survive from two battleship hits. Okay, Imaji placed an embassy. I guess they like me now. Mathematics, I'm not going to be using that, most likely. If I upgrade you, okay, you can take that down. Well, I don't have to disband you, actually. They can't attack it. This boat can go here. I guess, but that won't be able to get enough damage in. So these two are going to take down this swordsman. That's for certain. The question then becomes, do I siege the city? I think the answer to that is not this turn. Because, let's see, this warrior can hit, this boat can hit, this warrior can come around and hit. Although, no, this swordsman can come around and hit. It's too risky. I'm also a little bit wary of, oh, be quiet, bird, of what they have hiding up here. Because I've been seeing units come out of there. Do I get aquaticism? I think aquaticism is something I do want. Because it gives me... A nice defense bonus. And I'm going to be using a lot of water tiles this game. Considering it's an archipelago. Okay, yep, that was expected. They did hit me there. If both these units moved out of the way, the swordsman could make it here. Two hits from a warrior. I think I still win. No, because the, both the warriors couldn't hit me. It'd just be a swordsman hit. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I'm like 90, 86 percent certain. Okay, they just opted not to hit me at all. All right, first city taken, turn 24. Our capital is also one population from leveling up. That is very 
Nice. You think Emil likes me? Because I don't know if they're attacking Venger too. That looks like a good defensive line just in case Amo is not friendly. Okay, they hate Venger too. Amo, I believe, is in second place. What you doing, Luxador? Do I abandon ship in this city? I think that's the best move. Turn you both into battleships and abandon that city. Pains me to do that, but it has to be done. Oh, that's an enemy road. Okay, so I guess he'll be ready next turn, because I don't really want to have to use my battleship stars. Okay, they're hostile, and they're greeting me a bit suspiciously. They can't see this battleship, I don't believe. So, I hope Luxador puts... Okay. So they did get the jump on me, they could see that city. I hope Luxador opts to take the city. Okay. Do I let them tire themselves out? If I attack, you're a goner. Do I have enough battleships to take them down? That's 11, 22. This is probably 33. Let me just verify that this is in fact 11 damage. Okay, so I can take this battleship out. I wanna get scouting information on them, okay. So, uh, Ketsali is mad at me. That's fine, they can be mad. That's a problem. I can take damage on, or I can deal damage. Oh no. I hope they don't upgrade that, because if they do, this game is over. Please don't upgrade that into a battleship, please don't. Oh. Thank goodness. They have catapults too, that's a little worrying. Catapult here could reach whatever I put in that city, but it doesn't matter if I don't put anything in that city. I think you have to disband, so I have to get free spirit, which really stinks, especially since I spent so many more stars on that unit than I will get back. Border growth is going to grab me these tiles down here, which aren't that useful. And if I get population growth this turn, I can just get a giant in here, so I guess why would I go for border growth? That's a lot of catapults. I think I need to get chivalry if I'm going to burn through those catapults. See, if they put one here, if they put one here, they could reach. I think I back off. All right, that's Venger dealt with. Venger, Venger, whatever they're pronounced as. Quetzali, not mighty is he, king of the bottom of my tier list. I'm surprised Luxador hasn't tried to take this city yet. I mean, it's not really defended. I, I think Amo and I have a tenuous alliance. It's more of like a... Oh, if I'm planning on being allies with them for more than... This gives me what? Provide income. So I think for as l we have probably a good amount of time that we're going to be allies with so that extra four stars is probably going to pay off the tech price because they're also at war with um why can i not think of their name uh luxador maybe they can do something about luxador for me you think they can uh Dispose of those catapults for me. If I land a knight in there, ooh. What about a cloak? No, because those daggers are very, and the uh, cloak itself is, and the daggers are very prone to getting killed. I'm not seeing those catapults, and that's worrisome. I have enough battleships for when the war with Imo breaks out, because I think they're going to get the better end of this deal in terms of land. So I have to really start getting my defenses ready. Oh, now looks like a perfect time if I could get a knight in there. Right, I'll keep this knight on the back burner. Okay, if they catapult here, then this is over. I'm going to let Amo deal with that giant. I can't, I can't do anything this turn. I gotta know if one of these guys is gonna die down here. Please, Amo, deal with them more. You have no idea how big that sigh of relief that I just did was. 
I gambled so hard when I just did that. Oh, I can sneak around back here. Where is that catapult hiding? I need to find it this turn. There it is. Right, don't let that giant be sacrificed. I need to deal damage to the units that can deal the most damage to that giant. We have reinforcements coming to back you up, sir. I hope they don't have another catapult. How many cities does Amo have? Just as a, uh, Curia, or Luxador, they have three. Amo has ten. Gotta make sure Amo doesn't get any funny ideas. Just gotta ramp up my battleship production. Now, I learned from the Zabasi game, I have to, er, the Zabasi game, wow, uh, the uh, last game, I have to break peace with them. That is, with, where's that cloak-headed Amo? Better not be for one of my cities. All right, do I break peace with them? Because I think it's so they can't attack me next turn if I break peace with them. If I'm remembering this correctly. Okay, Luxador Cloak. Um, It's fine. See? Perfectly fine. Yeah, they're... What? Okay, this is really bad. No, don't push there. Okay, please say they can't attack me this turn. Every single move counts now. I gotta destroy that cloak. These battleships up here also have to go. I wish I could have done that with all the 19 other battleships that I had up there, but I guess that'll have to do. Let's just make sure I'm still on zero kills. Okay, yeah, or zero units lost. I gotta get rid of this giant boat while it's there before they put it into a battleship. If I can get around this little horn here, then I should be golden. If I put this giant battleship here, what'll be able to hit it? This sword's gonna be able to hit it, and that does a ton of damage. This battleship, this... Well... Hmm. I won't have as many swordsmen on this battleship as I think. At most, I'll have two. I think putting it on this port here is a better play. Because they can only attack me on this tile. Now, those battleships are going to be a bit of an issue. Um, I don't think they can take down a defender battleship with that. I don't think they have sufficient material to do so. Okay. Okay, you didn't even focus your fire on the same one. Brilliant. At least, well, brilliant for me. Okay, as I suspected, the giant came forward. Yep, the swordsman came forward there to put the warrior in a boat. What are you going to do up here? Attack the giant. And attack the battleship. Did you put a park in there? Amo, I thought you were... Sm I thought you were on a high difficulty. Right, what is of the high highest importance over here. It has to be this battleship. And I can take that down really easily just like that. I can kill this swordsman. You don't have anything nearby in order to deal with that. And then I can use this tile as well to attack. You got a lot of archers hanging out too, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm scared to go here. Although I can pretty much see all the land. Ah. That's what I was kind of worried about. Okay, I think this guy's going to be a little... Is this, this is their capital, right? Uh, info. Is the Amo capital, yeah. I think they're going to be defending that. Pretty fiercely. So I think I'm fine putting that there, because I think the only thing that's going to attack me is with this 4 health boat and this 8 health warrior, maybe. I think this swordsman's going to stay back and defend the capital. Could be wrong on that. I've been wrong before. But 
I'm pretty certain that I'm right there. Can I take? I'll have one swordsman on me. No, not gonna chance it. Can I kinda snake my way in there? All right, I think we are good to go as long as we don't make any major mistakes. Looks like most of Imo's army is gone. Uh, Ketzali's still here, but I mean, they're not really that big of a deal. It looks like Imo's gonna take care of them anyways. Every single chance I've taken so far has paid off. Okay, they're only training warriors now. Maybe they're running out of stars. All right, took my first Imo city. So how are we getting around this? It looks like we have to go through, which is gonna be a lot of stars wasted or we can go, no, I can't, we have to go around this way. This is the only path around. So I guess we start moving our units down here. Oh, we can go through here too. Uh, dude, that's not, that's not very cool. Uh, do I need all these battleships? I mean, yeah, they're nice. I guess. Look at all those cities I can capture. That's five cities this turn. Oh, and a ruin. What's in this ruin? Philosophy, great. Just what I wanted, mind vendors. Oh, hey, there's some unclaimed land out there. Imo apparently has one more city somewhere. Oh. I'm, I'm dumb. It's right here. Do I care enough about that village? Not really. Looks like whoever was over here. That would be Imo. Imo really missed out here. Seems like a really nice area over here. They could have... Look at all those whales! You know what? Let's complete the tech tree. I can construct my Tower of Wisdom if I so desire. I really don't so desire. Still zero. Still zero. There goes Imo. And looks like Quetzali only has this last city hiding out here. All right, this is the last city that we have to take. And there are no more enemy units on screen. Take the city. You have destroyed Quetzali, unified all the other tribes and united the square, or destroyed all the other tribes and united the square, whatever. Speed skills, 100%. Battle skills, 100%. I only destroyed three out of the five tribes, so I don't get the three stars. But that's a 90% score, and that is no deaths in crazy mode, not abusing the Quetzali trick. Ooh-wee. Next challenge, as I said, will be an easier one. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.